So that's a little bit about where we are today with the Spot the robot. I'm going to talk about the future. The biggest, the next thing on the future of Spot is that we're going to make it available with a robot arm in a few months. We have prototypes working, but we don't have them available as a product yet. And once you have an arm on a robot, it becomes a mobile manipulation system. And it really opens up just vast horizons on things robots can do. And I believe that the mobility of the robot will contribute to the dexterity of the robot in ways that we just don't get with current fixed factory automation. So let me show you a couple of things we're working on in mobile manipulation. Well, this is a simple task. Spots opening a door. And at least it sounds simple, but I'll tell you, this is such a complicated task for a small robot to do, especially doors like this one that have closers on them to keep them closed when they're not uh, being used. We're also working on the ability to operate devices like this breaker box, which has a complicated load pattern on the hand in order to operate. I hadn't ever thought about using the robot to move furniture around, but here Spot's moving this uh, chair by holding on and dragging it and using its ability to pull in order to maneuver. We also have a project that I'm sure many of you are going to be very interested in, and that's cleaning up your house. Now, Spot isn't available yet for home use, but someday it will be. And I think you're going to love the idea that the robot could be put in a room and use its vision system to identify your kid's clothing that's been lying around, or maybe your clothing that's been lying around, and then look around and go over and grasp it and put it in the laundry basket like this robot is doing in this prototype. Once the engineer said go, there's no interaction. The robot just does all this on its own. It's using a cloud computing to do the vision in order to decide whether the object it's looking at is something that needs to be picked up and sorted or whether it's something that uh, belongs there and should be left alone. So really excited by this. It's a great example of combining some scholarly intelligence with our mobility and manipulation platform. Here's another possible application for Spot, and that's delivering packages the last 50 or 100 yards to your home from the delivery truck. I don't know about you, but when I get in a package today, I worry about whether the driver of the car was adequately careful with washing his hands and wearing his mask and all that stuff, and I don't actually go near him. Wouldn't it be nice if a robot was doing the deliveries so I didn't have that worry? So, as I said at the beginning of this talk, we're really on a journey. And one of the challenges about the journey of making these robots is that people and animals are so good at what they do, they make it look simple. And it's really not. And so we have an incredible amount of work to do if we're going to get robots to be even close to the skills and capabilities of people. We need to make them much easier to program. In fact, you shouldn't be programming them. You should just be telling them what to do. They need to be, have mechanical systems that are much more reliable energy efficient. There's just opportunity in every direction in order to get the robots of our dreams. When we achieve the robots of our dreams, they're going to be incredibly useful. We can use them to keep people out of harm's way and to do dangerous work and avoid having people do it. We can use them to take care of the disabled and the elderly. And we can use them in our homes to help us with the many tasks that we have to do every day. I'm really looking forward to that future. I think it's going to take a lot of work by many different kinds of people to do that. I hope you'll work with us to get to some of those goals. Part of the idea of Spot as a platform is that we're not going to do all the development. We're going to work with other people who have their own ideas for what to do. And I hope some of you are those people. I look forward to working with you. Thanks a lot.